everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I wanted to talk about my nose piercing experience and guys it was the nose piercing from hell okay it was just a really really bad decision I made and I'll tell you why because a lot of shit went wrong when I got my nose pierced. So I got my nose pierced around this time last year so December 2014 so I went to the piercer with my sister she got her helix done and her helix piercing turned out amazing but my nose piercing turned out like absolute crap I got my nose pierced just with the little stud I didn't get a ring or anything like that I just went for a simple stud so I went in and I was like a little bit nervous I was like mm, this is gonna hurt really bad and she's like no no calm down calm down it's all gonna be fine so I'm like Cool. I chose the piercing I wanted and it was like a really tiny little silver stud and it was really really pretty and I was like super excited and I walked up the stairs and I was about to get pierced and the piercing itself went really well. If you guys don't know what a nose piercing is like, check some videos out on YouTube because there's heaps. Um, but anyway, nose piercing from hell starts now. After I got my nose pierced, I went back home and it was all good. It was a little bit red and a little bit swollen. It wasn't too bad and I followed all the aftercare that she told me. And at this time when I got my nose pierced, I was still at college. And if you guys don't know, I studied a diploma of beauty therapy. So beauty therapy treatments involve the face for some of it, like facials. And that was the problem. So I went to facial class and they're like, you can't have that nose piercing in. And I was like, excuse me bitch, I just got my nose pierced, right? Like I'm not going to take this out so I can get a facial done. You can do that on someone else. That went on for a little bit. I was luckily able to actually tape it and just make sure that when they were doing facials on me, they went around the piercing area but there was a time when they're like we can't handle this anymore you have to take it out and I'm like fuck so that is when it all started going down and I was like okay so I was mentally preparing myself I'm like okay I'll have to take it out I can put a clear nose piercing in instead I feel like I'm not making any sense but anyway, I'm gonna keep on going. I went back to the nose piercer and I was like, hey, I wanna buy this clear stud. Can you put it in for me? And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure. Put the clear stud in. It was awesome. Went back to facial class and this was maybe like a few weeks later. And that was fine. They were all cool with that for a little bit. And then they said it again. Tiana, you have to take that out. I was like, I seriously cannot win here, can I? And luckily for me, I was just about to go on holidays for a few weeks and going to put in a nose ring instead. And so I went back to the piercer and I'm like, I want this nose ring, can you put it in for me? She put it in for me and this is where all the stuff started going wrong. I am always clapping my hands in videos. I am so sorry guys if that gets annoying. I went back there and she took out the clear stud and for the nose ring that I got, I'll post a photo up here so you guys know what I'm talking about. You basically have to thread it through the nose piercing from the inside out. And so she was trying to do that, but quick as it is up your nose, it's very difficult to see. And she was doing that for five minutes and there was blood everywhere. It was, ugh, it was not a nice experience, but I was like, calm down, Tiana, calm down positive zen vibes and I was like I'm going to pass out because this pain was not nice whatsoever. She could not actually get the piercing through the hole properly and there was just ugh, it was not nice okay so blood everywhere and she was cleaning it up as she was going like five or ten minutes later she managed to get it through and I was like thank god for that because that was <laughs> excruciating. Cleaned it all up Gave me some more aftercare advice and whatnot, like clean it two times a day, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yep, yep, thanks a lot. And I went on holidays with my new nose ring and I was like, this is cool. I kind of like this vibe, you know, I look a little bit edgy and a little bit rebel sort of. Um, anyway, after I was like, oh, my nose piercing's all good. It's not bleeding. It's, it's going A-OK, -okay, my friends. And then I was like, I'm just going to try and move it around a little bit because I will have to take it out for college when I go back for facials. And... I was playing around with it and I was like, why why can't I take it out? Like I cannot physically take it out of my nose. And when she like when the piercer put through the nose ring, she pulled it too far and the backing of the piercing itself actually got stuck and like lodged between this little piece of skin here. And yeah, this sounds so gross. I'm so sorry if it makes you feel queasy. Basically, the backing had got stuck in between this piece of skin and the skin had grown back over it. So it was completely lodged into my nose. So I could physically not rip it out because it became part of my nose. And yes, 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 
it, it wasn't very nice. So I was like, Tiana, it's okay. You can do this. You can do this. Because it took me a while to realize how severe it was and that it was actually stuck. I thought I just wasn't doing it right, but it was legitimately stuck inside my nose. So I went back to TAFE and I was like, hey, this is what happened. He's like, sorry, there's nothing we can do about that. You'll have to take it out yourself. And I'm like, okay. So... At this point, I'd already spent $75 on this piercing to get it changed multiple times so I could go to TAFE with this piercing. And then on top of all of that, I had to go and get it removed. I was like, who can take this nose piercing out for me? And I was like investigating online, you know, doing some little stalking stuff. And I was like, there's this doctor, right? But she's actually a plastic surgeon. I'm like, oh, okay, she should be able to do that easy peasy. And I went to her for a consultation and she basically said to me, Tiana, you will have to go on the operating table. You'll have to get all this like anesthetic and you have to do all this. You have to stay overnight in hospital. And she was saying this was going to cost me $500 to get this little piece of steel taken out of my nose. And I was like, I don't believe you. I think you're just taking my money because I'm like, I am not going to this lady without doing more research and did a bit more investigating, came across this ear, nose and throat surgeon. And he looked really, really good. Like he, he was attractive, I have to say. Um, but he also, his qualifications were really good. So I gave him a call and I was like, do you think you could like work this out for me? He's like, yeah, sure. Just come in and see me and we can see what we can do. And so I went to his office with my dad and he was so lovely. And he was basically saying how he could try to do it in his office there and then on the consultation day um, by just numbing it and pulling it out to see if that would work and if it was a bit too hard then yes you'd have to go under anesthetic and just chill on an operating table for like 10 minutes while they lodge this piece of shit out of my nose but so I'm like no nope, I'm going to do it so I just sat on that little chair and he's like okay Tiana we're going to give you some anesthetic we're just going to do local he basically got the anesthetic there was four or five needles and he basically went around the nose piercing so I was bleeding from my nose in these four little sections which looked really funny and I actually did film it and take a photo of it which I'll put up now so you guys can see what I'm talking about so he did that and then I waited outside for 20 minutes and then he came back and he basically just grabbed it and pulled it out and it was done in three seconds I swear it was so quick and I can't believe there was so much like hoo-ha and crazy shit about this nose piercing when he just pulled out in three seconds and it cost me $80 compared to $500. And he was such a good surgeon and I recommend him to everyone, especially for your nose and throat in Brisbane. So if you guys do have any problems and you're in the area, let me know and I can give you his name. I'm not going to put it out on the internet. Right, so he was like a really, really good surgeon and everything. And so I went home with my dad and he basically just gave us a script for this antibiotic cream that I had to put on to make sure it didn't get infected and the scarring wouldn't be that bad because I was worried a little bit about scarring. Sorry if you can hear that plane going over, it's really really loud. I put it on and literally within the next three or four days it had healed from the outside and you couldn't see anything whatsoever and even now it looks so normal, there's no holes or anything and you would never even know that I had a nose piercing there. and. Yeah, I just can't believe that there was so much like drama surrounding this one simple nose piercing and I'm so annoyed that it took like a hundred dollars out of my pocket just to just to get the piercings in general and then on top of that to get it removed and blah blah blah. It was just terrible. Um, I kind of wish I never got it done but at the same time it was a good experience somewhat it was painful but it, it was okay I learned some stuff I learned never to get a nose piercing again I don't think I looked that good with it anyway I have some old videos on my channel with my nose piercing from this time last year if you guys want to check that out I'll link them below if you want to see what it was like um but yeah that was my nose piercing experience it was really interesting yeah it wasn't the best but you know shit happens so hopefully this helps a few of you guys out um give it a big thumbs up if you do like it subscribe for more videos if you want as well and yeah all the links to my social media will be in the down bar below if you want to check it out as well have a great day guys and yeah i'll talk to you guys later bye